question of the week, and it's all about Albarossa. Is Albarossa A, a hilltop town in Tuscany, B, a Ferrari's new Formula One star, or C, a strange red grape variety found in Italy's Piedmont? Mm. I'll give you a clue. It's coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big Wine, the show which, uh, as always, brings you news, clues and reviews. Indeed, it tries to keep you up to speed about just about everything that's happening in the world of wine. And my Wine of the Week for this week is this one here. It goes under the name of Dezzani Albarossa, and the vintage is 2018. And this wine comes in for a price where I am of just under 13 euro a bottle. Here we go. Right. Okay, let's paint in the backstory to this particular number. Now, Dezzani is the name of the winemaker and Albarossa is the name of the grape. Now I can hear you saying, what was that again? Albarossa, yep, a red grape variety found particularly in the Piemonte or Piedmont uh, area of Italy. Okay, Dezzani are the producers and Dezzani is a family winery currently in its third generation. And they're based in a very, very small place called Coconato up in the hills, about 25 kilometers or so east of Torino, Turin. So we're talking about the extreme northwest corner of Italy. Indeed, the Swiss and the French borders are just a stone's throw away. And the grape is indeed the Albarossa, a rare Italian red variety. Now, it was originally thought to be a crossing of the Nebbiolo and the Barbera grapes, but Barbera, in fact, turned out to be the more lowly Chatos grape. It's got a very, very deep color, um, traditionally, and it's capable of late ripening and also a high sugar content, but also it has sufficient acidity. So it's quite an interesting number, this Albarossa. Okay, so much for the backstory. Let's turn our attention to the wine itself and take a look at the wine in the glass and see whether that reputation for a dark inky color is borne out by this wine. And the answer is yes, indeed. Now the color of this wine, I think we could call it a, a, a deep ruby red or an intense ruby red. It's not entirely uh, opaque, but uh, it's well on that, uh, in that direction. Right, okay. Let's um, now try it in the nose and see what we can find here. Here we go. Hmm, now, it has a kind of a, a grapey aroma to it. Um, a kind of a bit of a rustic, a rustic aroma to it. A touch of the farmyard here, perhaps. Um, spicy. Spicy is the first thing that comes to mind. So, rustic, spicy, red fruit. Red fruit is to the fore here, and the red fruit in particular, which I'm picking up, is cherry, cherry of the sour cherry variety. So, uh, sour cherry and spice in the nose on this uh, Alvarosa wine. Very nice indeed. All right, let's try it in the palate. Remember this Wine is a relatively budget-priced wine. It's uh, between 12 and 13 euro a bottle, where I am. Let's give it a go and see how this performs. This is my first taste of an Alvarosa wine. Here we go. All right. Mmm. First observation. The reputation which the Albarossa grape has for high acidity, tick. Sour cherry, good acidity. Nice cleaning of the mouth. This is going to be lovely with food, lovely to accompany meat dishes, I think. So a nice, fresh, 
attack to the wine, a clean sour cherry bite at the front of the mouth here. Now, in terms of the other flavors, very much the flavors of this wine mirror the nose. It's a red fruit, predominantly the sour cherry, but there's other stuff in there as well. A touch of raspberry, I'm picking up raspberry, and also a kind of a little touch of the Christmassy fruits, the dried fruits, the dates, raisins, etc. There's definitely a hint of that in the wine. What else can we say about this? Now, it has a solid acidity. Um, it's also, in terms of tannins, fairly kind of medium, medium, medium tannins in this particular wine. Um, it's lively. It's got a toastiness to it, which is also very pleasant. It has a long finish to the wine. Um, it's rather overlaid the end here with something closer to coffee or chocolate. So an interesting combination, good acidity, good clean acidity, a nice bite, sour cherry, um, spicy, touch leathery, um, toasty, and in the finish, that wonderful touch of coffee or chocolate. Very nice. Now, what are we going to be enjoying this with? Well, given the range of flavors and that spiciness, I think game dishes are really called for. So elk or venison. But, you know, this is a good all-rounder as a red wine. It wouldn't be out of place with spaghetti bolognese or a beef stew or even a nice chunk of salty cheese. Now, in terms of serving temperature, I think we're looking at something slightly below normal room temperature, so around the 18 degree mark. This has been in the uh, fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour or so, just about right. Let's bring you the heads up on this one because this is an unusual wine using a very rare great variety, but also at a budget price. Dizzani Alborossa, another fine wine from Italy's Piedmont, another example of these traditional, unusual grapes being resurrected and turned into great wines. This time at a budget price, but the consumer is the winner here. Sour cherry, spice, and packed with rustic charm, Four stars out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little introduction to an Italian wine that makes use of an unusual grape variety, the Alborossa. Interesting stuff indeed. Budget price too. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, give us a like. We do enjoy getting those. Drop a comment down below, why don't you? Share the video around the arts content. And if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing to the channel while you're about it, why not hit that little bell icon and you'll be informed about all future uploads. And naturally, I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week view. But uh, until we meet again, this is Danny Mel signing off and saying, hey, take care out there, be good to each other, enjoy your wines, and cheers.